Et salut à tous, on se retrouve pour ce huitième épisode, je crois, sur Unmetal. Alors moi je l'ai fait à la suite, donc forcément, euh, je ne vois pas forcément le temps passer au niveau des numéros. Euh, oui, si j'oublie de revenir sur la fenêtre de jeu, c'est vrai que ça marche moins bien. Donc il fallait qu'on fasse une copie de Mike. Sauf que, ben, on sait pas trop comment on sait. Je sais pas trop comment faire. J'avoue que je ne sais pas. Caméra. Mais non, mais putain, mais c'est pas vrai. Ça. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Mais c'est honteux. Je sais pas comment je vais passer là. comme ça tout simplement euh... plus compliqué là j'ai rien dit combiner ça avec ça, ça, voilà, ça, ça, voilà. Pas de risque inutile. Mais putain, mais... J'aurais dû aller aux au, au toilettes au passage aussi. Parce que là, je suppose que je suis obligé de tout refaire. Hein. C'est donc ça d'être un attardé. Ok, let's go. Thank you. 
Euh... Ouais, non, mais ça, clairement. Caméra, ok. Le Let's Kong est complet là. La concentration est maximum. Ça change les épisodes précédents. Surtout de celui d'avant. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Ah oh merde, j'ai pas lu l'astuce du coup. C'est temporaire. Ça dure vraiment pas longtemps. Didn't you say that the alarm never sound? Didn't you say that the alarm? C'est c'est non chiant par contre. Clairement. Mais vas-y, ta chmère, la chnèque. Didn't you say that the alarm never sound? de caméra quoi oh, bien sûr didn't you say that the alarm never une évidence, voyons.
suppose que si je coupe ça... Euh... Ouais, ça ouvre le truc automatiquement. Ok. Didn't you say that the alarm never sound... C'est un peu du die and retry, hein, au final. Je prends la ficelle parce qu'on sait jamais. Putain, j'ai gâché masse grenade. There it was, the entrance to the Omega building. That would be the last place I'd visit on my tour de escape. Who is this? Pizza. <laughs> Pizza here for Mike? That's me, but I didn't order one. Fuck. The pizzeria screwed up again. They must have repeated the last order. My god, they suck at managing orders. And this is so far away. Are you sure you don't want it? It's just out of the oven. Hold on. Show me the pizza. Show it to the camera. Well, er, uh, I think I left it on my motorcycle. My apologies. <laughs> I'll be back with the pizza in a moment. You won't leave alive, imposter! <laughs> Didn't you say that the alarm never s- <laughs> Putain, je suis sûr qu'en fait, il faut aller dans le... Oh putain, j'en étais sûr. Ah oh, putain, il m'a capté. Oh le salaud. Didn't you say that the alarm never Bon, en tout cas, on sait qu'il faut récupérer la boîte à pizza. D'où il m'a vu D'où C'est honteux Didn't you say that the alarm never C'est honteux Au moins on avait la solution tout de suite hein. Oh putain, quand ça pas une, c'est l'autre qui me... Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Forcément. Oh, pfff. <rire> Mais quel sac à me. Le pire, c'est que la première fois, j'arrive à aller jusqu'à la porte sans encombre.
Et je suis débile, pourquoi j'ai fait ça Pizza here for Mike? That's me, but I didn't order. It's a margarita pizza. Margarita? It, it has tomato, mozzarella, and oregano. Don't fuck with me. That's what all pizzas have. You brought me a pizza with nothing else on it? Do I look like a dumbass or what? <laughs> Besides, isn't this a repeated order? Why is this a different pizza? Dunno. Maybe it's for another Mike? Hold on. You're not the same pizza guy. Fuck, you're an imposter. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Didn't you say that the alarm never bon, sounded? Alors, ce sera pas la margarita. Et on va récupérer l'extincteur quand même. Parce que on sait jamais. Ça peut servir. Pizza here for It's a mushroom and arugula pizza. What's arugula? It's an Italian herb with intense flavor. Fuck. Is that the kind of pizza that looks like it has grass on it? Well, yeah, it's green. Do I look like a sheep? Besides, isn't this a repeated order? Why it Bon, ce sera fromage. Didn't you say that the alarm never Pizza here for It's a four cheese pizza. You've got to be joking. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Besides, isn't this a repeated order? Oh merde. <laughs> la pizza n'est pas la bonne solution. Dommage. Mais je vais quand même aller la récupérer. Même si c'est pas la bonne solution. Oh non, mais t'es sérieux. Didn't you say that the alarm never... Comment ça a fait pour me voir Elle avait tourné déjà. Didn't you say that the alarm? 
ça me chie de faire des misplays de merde. Allez, celle de gauche tourne. Non, mais... Elle est, normalement, elle est déjà trop tournée pour voir. Quoi. Non, mais c'est honteux. C'est honteux. Clairement. Bon, euh... C'est parce que pour le LOL, quoi, la, la boîte à pizza, mais... Allez les deux vers la droite, puis celle de gauche. De droite. Tester le, le pipi. Hello, good evening. Look, my son needs to pee, and he really needs to go to the bathroom. Could you let me in, please? I'm sorry, we can't let children inside. But he's about to pee himself. It'll be everywhere: walls, doors, ceilings. There's a toilet just after you enter the compound. There, he'll be able to pee and save his game. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Is there a thing to do with the extinguisher? It's possible. La solution c'est bien la pizza mais... Entre nous ça va vite me gonfler. Margarita pizza. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? Okay, let's go so. Il va se 
Walls, doors, ceilings. There's a toilet just after you. Who do you think I am? I'm Mike. No. Didn't you say that the alarm never sound? J'avoue que je sais pas trop comment je passe. Le moins d'avoir un truc. C'est à droite. Non. Je sais pas. Didn't you say that the alarm never sounded? J'aurais raté un élément éventuellement. left over on the cardboard but as i opened the box the steam from within disappeared it's a pepperoni pizza Mais comment tu veux savoir qu'il fallait euh, manger, euh, fallait taper dans la pizza pour savoir que c'était une pizza pepperoni As I crossed the door, I entered into the Omega building, the heart of Operation Jericho. It was a cold, dark industrial place with containers and barrels everywhere. On my right, there was the control room where they monitored the outer cameras. And, of course, the asshole that controlled them. The guy I tricked with the pizza, who was coming over to get it. Reality was going to hit him in the face. Give me the fucking pizza and get out. Of course. You are, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. What the fuck? It doesn't weigh shit. Son of a bitch. You bake these thinner by the hour. It's empty. 
Where the hell is my pizza? Look at what's on the box. What? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I was inside the Omega building. I just had to reach the rooftop and pray that I'd find a helicopter. As I destroyed that computer, I saw something curious inside its metal guts. It was a thick cable and a sign that said, Ground Floor Alarm Cable, Do Not Cut. Done. With the cable cut, the alarm wouldn't be triggered on this floor. Even if I was detected, guards wouldn't be able to trigger the alarm. They put a lot of effort into the security of that compound. The guards weren't the typical ones I've encountered before. They were... <laughs> Scandinavian guards. <laughs> they, were the the guards. they were light sleepers, too. Oops, I fell asleep. Putain, il faut la carte de New York. Oops, I fell asleep. Il y a bien beaucoup de ficelles. Oops, I fell asleep. Ouais, 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 ouais. Ils sont chiants ces, ces gardes de Scandinave. Oh, un vieux sage. Welcome to the basement. Ah, uh, thanks. Who are you? I'm the Lord of the Labyrinth. If I hadn't had enough already, a mental patient escaped from a ward. I played along. I'm Fox, son of Zox. I hail you, O oh Lord of the Labyrinth. <laughs> What's behind that door? A dark labyrinth filled with deadly traps. Why did they build a maze down here? They didn't. The labyrinth already existed. This building 
was built over an old prison, which was built over ancient catacombs. It is said that the souls of the prisoners still dwell there. Are you trying to scare me with that children's story? It is merely a warning. Such is the esteemed duty of the Lord of the Labyrinth. I was curious about what was inside the labyrinth, but I had no business in these catacombs. I was focused on my escape, so I didn't think about those ridiculous stories. Although later, I'd be back. Do you wish to enter the labyrinth? No, thank you. kind of long to explain. Do you want me to summarize it? Don't even think about it. Any detail can be crucial, so don't skip anything. Now, I want you to drop that Fissile Core Uranium-235 isotope sample. How in the world do you know that it's a Fissile Core Uranium-235 <laughs> isotope sample? What else would be in the hands of a scientist whose expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? How do you know I'm a scientist oh, whose <laughs> expertise is in fissile core uranium-235 isotopes? I know everything about Operation Jericho. Now, drop that sample. Do you know what will happen if I drop this and the flask is broken? Of course I know! The radiation will flood the whole room, and that would kill us all. I know! I'm not telling you to literally drop it. I mean, slowly set it on the table. It's okay. Don't get nervous. Now turn around, slowly. I'm afraid I can't turn around slowly. Because we're working in a 2D environment, I can only turn in multiples of 90 degrees. I turn around 90 <laughs> degrees twice. So you're the brains behind it all. You won't get away with this, you sick bastard. Operation Jericho will die with you. Everything okay, Dr. Hoffman? Oh god, he has a weapon. Wait, you said Dr. Hoffman? Is your surname Hoffman? Yes. Fuck. Why? What's up? I had a neighbor called Hoffman. He was tall, German, and hairy. He won the lottery, but died of gonorrhea the week after. Poor man. Yes. Life can be cruel sometimes. But enough stories. What's the purity of the isotope you're using? 95%. Are you mad? That purity is highly unstable. You need to generate an absolute void field and contain that isotope in an electromagnetic field. That's what we do. We have containers of 500 megajoules. You're playing God. Rabble like you invented the H-bomb. You disgust me. Hold on. Fuck. H as in Hoffman. You invented the H-bomb. What are you saying? <laughs> the H comes from hydrogen. Hydro what? Don't try to confuse me with your scientific slang. Whether or not you're the mind behind this, you're the accomplice of a nuclear menace. Say goodbye, Dr. Hoffman. Wait, I did it against my will. They have my daughter. If I don't do what they say, they'll kill her. Your daughter? Where are they keeping her? They have her working as a doctor <sighs> in the Alpha Building. The Alpha Building. The same one where I met the doctor. Il va faire le lien. Suddenly, I pieced things voilà. together and everything made sense. There were two doctors in that building. Although I never saw this man's daughter. Doctor, how old is she? Uh, somewhere in her 30s. <laughs> in her 30s? What kind of answer is that? 
A good father would say she turned 32 last April 31st. Well, April only has 30 days. Don't change the subject. <laughs> what sort of father are you? It's okay. I confess I've never been a good father since I've spent all my time absorbed in science. Not mine. Not mine either. Excuse me one moment. Hello, honey. This is not a good time. It's never a good time for you, Dad. I know, I know. But my current situation is particularly disastrous. Why? Because a man is pointing his gun at me. What? Who is he? I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's from here. I think I know who it is. <laughs> Ask him if his name is Jesse Fox. Hold on. Uh, pardon me. Are you Jesse Fox? Yes. Yes, it's him. Damn it all to hell. Do you know him? Honey, are you there? Hello? She hung up. Oops, now it's mine. <laughs> Jesse Fox here, over. Can you tell me what the hell you're doing? Doctor, hey, hello, how are you? Not very happy, knowing that you're aiming a gun at my father. What? Your, your father? Yes. Doctor, this is not your father. What do you mean? Of course he is. That's what they're trying to get us to believe. In truth, he's the father of another doctor that works in your building. What? There are no other doctors. I'm the only one here. They're trying to make us believe that too. They're manipulating us. <laughs> is your father, by any chance, <laughs> an expert in nuclear chemistry who works in the Omega building? Yes, he is. The evidence finally collapsed in on itself. Besides two doctors, there were two scientist <laughs> fathers. The one in front of me who also had a doctor daughter and the doctor's father. Really? Then explain something to me. How is it possible that someone like you, dedicated to looking after others, has a father that is involved in the annihilation of millions of people? What are you saying? My father is a good man. He's a brilliant scientist, not a killer. Well, the man in front of me is working with uranium for nuclear weapons that will be used to annihilate entire cities. What? No, no, this can't be. You see, I told you he wasn't your father. What should I do? Do I kill him? What? No! Tell him that... Doctor, I can't understand you if you cover your mouth. <laughs> Doctor? She hung up. Why did you tell her? Now my own daughter will hate me. Don't worry. She wasn't your daughter. She was the other doctor. What are you talking about? They're the same person. <laughs> That's what they're trying to make us believe. They're toying with us. Are you really doing this for your daughter? Yes. I want her to be safe. Millions of people could die. I prefer the deaths of millions of people over the death of my precious daughter. You're a monster. It's not called being a monster. It's called being a father. If you had a daughter, you would understand, Mr. Fox. Enough. Where is the rooftop? Uh, above? Don't be an asshole. I know that. I mean... How do I reach the rooftop? And don't stall me, understood? Another stupid answer and I shoot. I don't think you'll do it. You don't look like an assassin. Really? Fuck, <laughs> 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 it was an accident. <laughs> Is but a scratch. Come on, my friend. Stand up. I'm going to repeat the question one last time. And this time, I won't miss. Excuse me. You didn't miss. You hit me. That's true. <laughs> then this time I won't heal anyone. How do I reach the rooftop? The, there is a lift that reaches the rooftop. You just have to keep going up as much as you can. 
but you will need a level 4 access card to go out. Well, in that case, give me a level 4 access card. We, we don't have one. We just have level 3 access cards. I swear. Fuck. I'll have to search for it. Now, continue working as if nothing happened. If you trigger the alarm or do something suspicious... You'll kill us. I promised the doctor not to kill anyone. Hoffman's daughter or the other one? The other one. Then you had no intention to shoot me, right? Exactly. You see, I told you that you didn't look like an assassin. I'm glad you're not one of those bastards. You can't imagine how much I hate myself for what they're forcing me to do. In the end, I talked to them about my escape, about Colonel Harris, and the promise I made to him to call the cavalry if I managed to escape. That gave Dr. Hoffman and his team some small hope of rescue. He promised to delay the preparation of the uranium that would be used in Operation Jericho for as long as he could. After that, I asked him for some assistance in my escape. But he was terrified of being discovered, which would compromise his daughter's safety. So he decided to stay neutral, but still volunteered some information. Okay. Another thing, don't shoot in the lab. Most of these devices don't react well to bullets. Inside, are you? I'm just going to have a quick look. Are you crazy? Without an anti rad suit, you will die in just a few minutes. <laughs> okay, I suppose you put on the TV. Be careful in there. There are patrols of mechanical spiders, they can see in every direction. Can they be shut down somehow? Only with an electromagnetic grenade. But it would only last a few seconds. Enough time to let them taste my fists. Thanks for the warning. Please carry on with your genocide work. Laisse encore là, ma petite. Un retour, je pense. Okay, let's go. Faut attendre qu'elle se pointe dans le... Ah 
Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, I'm coming. What's up, Hoffman? My daughter, she is not replying. Isn't she a doctor? She must be operating on someone. Right when you come into my life? Too many coincidences. What if they killed her? Why would they do that? If they do, you no longer have a reason to continue your work here. You're right. But... Relax and wait a while. And remember to delay those nuclear warheads as much as you can. God knows what will happen if they get completed. Ça fait pas de mal de save un coup. Ah putain, la, la combinaison c'est pareil que les autres. Yes. En même temps, un peu de mal. Euh... Elle veut pas se barrer ailleurs.
Bon, je crois que j'avais gâché une, une grenade. Oh putain, c'est bon, c'est bon. J'ai gâché une grenade encore une fois, donc je peux bien mourir. Hmm. Allez, dernière tentative. Si je fail, on s'arrête. En principe, on peut le passer sans. Il faut garder les grenades pour le dernier. Allez, 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 allez. laisser là hein. et euh, je vous dis à la prochaine pour la suite des aventures de Unmetal allez à ciao à plus ciao bye bye si j'arrive à mettre la main sur la souris <rire> ciao